Our second character that I brought in was um, Bob. So he was a little bit trickier, ended up being probably one of the hardest ones of the four uh, models that I brought in, and that being that he had three stubby fingers and a thumb and next to no neck as you can see it's quite a he's quite a almost a cylindrical shaped figure uh the legs legs and that were all fine they were that was fairly straightforward human humanoid arms pretty good um where they attached to the body was a little bit tricky like as you can see because there's not much of a neck to get him to move smoothly was quite a challenge and that was where it was just a lot of toing and froing and to make sure that it would still look all right in VR chat. Um, and the other thing that really was crucial on this one was making sure that everything was fully uh, mapped to your skeleton, like show incomplete skinning is a, quite a handy function because when you click that it'll show up. Like if I um, if I click on this one and I'll just I'll smooth it out and show you what I mean. See now that there, those could cause a problem in, later down the track in, in Unity because what it does, if you import it with an incomplete um, skinned rig, because it has to be rigged to the nearest bone, and so what Unity does, it has a lot of auto fixes to make your life simple for importing a um, an avatar into VR Chat. So you can just tick this box where it says auto fix if you've got an incomplete skeleton um, skin and then what it does is it will automatically skin those to the root bone which is this one. So you can see where this creates problems in VR chat when this bone is moving if there's any other points that are attached to that they will then start obviously it will affect certain vertices and you can have like little triangulations and, and um, artifacts popping off which is not ideal so that's just a trick make sure you've fully meshed everything to everything else all your appropriate bones and everything and you can just keep clicking the show and complete until you're happy with it so like so now i'll just I'll fix that one again and then if we go back show and complete so we're done now um same thing you want to name all your bones and on this one I use the blend function to uh, give him a mouth that moves for when you're speaking. So with the blend function in um, VR Chat, it's quite easy because the way Masterpiece Motion does it, uh, Unity will pick that up and you're able to use that as mouth movement. So see he's got an open mouth, I use the, the blend shape and I just adjusted it so that when he talks in the game it'll just flick between the two at whatever rate of speech you're doing which is quite handy because it means you don't have to map a bone to the mouth which you can do as well because it has a, a jaw flap function you can you can add in uh, unity to the avatar but the blend shape is easiest as long as you've got one there for the mouth you can add other ones if you want but it's at this stage it's just nice and simple one for the mouth and then um, make sure everything's uh, rigged nicely to move and then it's just export